It is great to have you back here at Coin Lady Channel. Listen, I'm going to spill the beans on the opinion of a chart analyst who predicts a 15x growth for XRP. Yeah, there's a 15-fold spike just before the mid-cycle slump. Coming soon, within the next few months at the latest. That's close to $10 from where XRP is at the moment. Guys, so, as I've said before, when it comes to analysts, and I do admire those who are willing to risk everything and take criticism personally, I totally get it. Their effort in doing so and the time they took to explain things from their point of view are both appreciated. Reason being, many of these analysts devote substantial effort and time to making sense of what they see and share their findings. Talking about timelines makes me nervous with any analyst, no matter how credible or good their hit rate is. This is because, regardless of how accurate their analysis is about a specific chart formation, parts of that formation can unfold more quickly or more slowly than expected, depending on factors like past events. Accordingly, I have never encountered analysts before in my life who are able to accurately anticipate when prices will rise or fall regardless of how well they predict chart formation. But all I'm doing is relaying the views of many analysts. A second analyst will also go on record to offer their thoughts, and then we can determine the truth. Fortunately, given the current state of affairs, given the convergence of events, it is highly likely that XRP might reach that price level within that time frame. I'll be the first to confess it. Can you notice that chronology in particular in the charts? That's all. Okay. I. Perhaps it's appropriate to have a general notion for a longer period of time. As for the analysts' take on the current market situation, are they predicting that Bitcoin will spearhead a further decline in value? It's tough to narrow it down. Is a breakout to the upside imminent? Even if you're not interested in Bitcoin, that matters since Bitcoin exits the market. Plus, it doesn't matter if you're as invested in altcoins as I am or if XRP is your biggest holding. I get it you should give that a lot more thought. It's exactly the same for me, whatever the case may be. You should care about Bitcoin's fate. I should preface this by saying that I am not a financial expert and that I do not have any prior experience in this area. Also, you shouldn't base any purchases or sales on what I say, right? Making movies on YouTube regarding cryptocurrency is something I like doing for fun and as a pastime. I'm just an enthusiast. XRP has surpassed Bitcoin even in USD today. With a price of 63 cents as I record this video, even more astounding is the fact that Bitcoin is currently trading at $64,326 on the XRP BTC chart, a little under 2. 5 trillion US dollars in asset class market cap, with a crypto fear and greed index of 74. 0 out of 100. Therefore, we have not yet entered the realm of extreme avarice. However, the crypto markets are experiencing some good old-fashioned greed. Top crypto researchers, like myself, predict that XRP will reach 15 times its current value. An influential crypto analyst has predicted that XRP's price might surge by a factor of 15 before the cycle's high, just before the mid-cycle run-ins. The 7-day performance total for XRP has resulted in a 3% drop, bringing its 30-day value to 61 cents. The 15% rise for XRP remains substantial. At the same time, XRP is still trading close to the level seen in October, when the crypto bull markets were at their peak. Now, before we delve further into the analysis conducted by this expert, I will say this. I get that it's possible for XRP to have a main move that sends it soaring to new heights, but I'd be astonished if it happened based on past performance alone. When looking at XRP, the last two bull markets were the most recent instances we observed. Two main moves to significant ones occurred with XRP. In 2017, it would take place in April and December, which is more than six months apart. Following that, plans were made for the subsequent market cycle. In November 2020, there will be one. And in April 2020, there will be another. So, that was approximately six months ago. Not that there can't be any variation. After all, past events don't necessarily repeat themselves word for word. It almost sounds like it rhymes with itself. Only in a playful way could it occur. In my opinion, the market would likely experience a sharp upswing, which could or could not result in a new all-time high. Whatever the initial move is, I don't think it will be the cycle's peak. 
no matter how high it goes. Additionally, I will be considering the viewpoints of all individuals. I mean, I'm always interested in hearing other people's opinions, particularly those chart experts. However, as I sit here before that occurs, I simply want to express my amazement if that initial burst is the only thing she wrote. I simply don't believe it's likely. From the time it stops to the time it starts running again, there can be quite a while. I thought these were acceptable goals. Though, when we were discussing XRP and getting it up to 10, regardless, I will not be giving a price prediction myself. I have been completely fictitious up to this point. To me, that sounds very traditional. In my opinion, everything around there is too traditional. Peace remains. However, however, well-known market watchers are certain that XRP is about to make a dramatic short-term surge. The top-ranked analysts have recently voiced their concerns about XRP, suggesting that it could make a strong short-term move. Contrary to what he stated in a recent X post, he predicted that XRP might see a gain of up to 1500% before the mid-cycle run concludes. He said 15 times, and the crypto basic author is, as is usual with crypto media authors, a group of C students. To top it all off, they fail to comprehend that a 15-fold gain equals a 1400% gain. Figure it out, and I'll actually demonstrate this in a moment. So they said it was wrong in writing. I simply brought it up in the context here. Whatever the case may be, Peas will keep talking about XRP at its current price of around 61.86 cents. A 15-fold increase would drive that price up to over $10. The analyst seems to be predicting the price goal somewhere in July. According on the chart that goes along with the report, people, he isn't making predictions as precise as a day. But that's still more precise than any expert can muster. Even if they're only out by a few months, no one seems to be able to pull this off on a consistent basis. So I start to worry that they might be right and that they might be wrong. The price was around 62 cents at the time. So that's the movement. Thus, $9.30 would be the result of a 5,015 fold gain. The gain is 1,400%. Thus, it is not 1500%, but well, that's really conservative. You know, to be honest, I would be astonished if it doesn't move higher. In my opinion, XRP is going to have a meteoric rise throughout this market cycle, particularly following a six-year consolidation. As far as I'm concerned, it's completely ridiculous. We also take a peek at the market capitalization to see where Bitcoins are headed. Does ETH even exist? So far this cycle, ETH hasn't surpassed $4,000, but it's come close. We are going to easily surpass the highest bid, which was over $1,400. Its potential height is unknown to me, as if XRP couldn't even come close to it. And then we'll watch what occurs. But look at this as well. To give you a better idea, CryptoLocker, a group of chart analysts, has published this piece. In addition, several charts are included also the argument i'm going to make here doesn't require me to zoom in at the very top of this page you can see the altcoin market cap the sum that should be tracked regularly there you have it a candle for every week that brings the total number of crypto assets not including bitcoin to two all alternative coins including eth are included additionally he makes note of certain breakout times well that concludes our video. As always, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a comment with your opinions. Muchas gracias. Depart.